In this case, I have x plus 1 equals, or ln of x plus 5 equals ln of x minus 1 minus ln of x plus 1. So in, remember on the last problem I told you, when you have so many multiple logarithms, you need to combine them, right? Get them either to 1 or none at all. Now here's the largest mistake that I saw students do. Is they say, oh, lns are on both sides. You can cancel them out. And no, that is not the case. I'll make this very, very clear. The one-to-one -one property of natural logarithms states ln of x equals ln of y, x equals y. Is this ln equals ln? No. no. So do not just say, oh, the lns can all cancel out. All right? It's a very common mis misconception. However, I do have the difference of two logarithms that I know I can rewrite as the quotient. So therefore, I can have ln of x plus 5 equals ln of x minus 1 over x plus 1. Now, you guys can see, now I can apply the 1 to 1 property. So now I have x plus 5 equals x minus 1 times x plus 1. All right, so now we need to solve with a rational expression. So Adara, to get rid of the x plus 1, we need to multiply by x plus 1 on both sides. Therefore, what's going to happen here is now those are going to divide to 1. And we're left with a trinomial over here. So you can apply FOIL right here on the left side. I'll just do this in my head. So it's going to become x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals x minus 1. But now we know that we have a quadratic. So to solve a quadratic like this, we need to make sure that um, we set it equal to 0. So I have to subtract the x, add 1, add 1. So I have x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. So now I need to solve, right? So I need to solve for x. That's the question, solve for x. So x plus 5 times x plus 1 equals 0. Therefore, my solutions are x equals negative 5 and x equals negative 1. Now, again, the domain of a logarithm, if you guys remember the graph, the domain of the logarithm does not contain a lot of negative numbers, right? So we need to double check to make sure, can these be solutions? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what you notice is if I put in a negative 1 into this logarithm, because all it has to do is be extraneous for one solution, Courtney. If you put in negative 1 in for this logarithm, you're going to have ln of negative 2, which is extraneous. You cannot evaluate for the ln of negative 2. If you put negative 5 in for this one or that one, you're going to have, again, a, your ln of a negative number, which is, again, extraneous. Try typing in your calculator, ln of negative 1 or negative 2. It's extraneous. It's not going to be a part of the domain. So therefore, both of these solutions don't work, and your answer is no solution. All right? Now, I am very, very happy for those of you that have the intuition to go and look in the back of the book.